Um, police have asked if we move in about one foot so the field can get past us there. Um, they also asked if there's going to be any violent stuff. <laughs> Just vocal violence. No, no, that's not us. Yeah. <laughs> as, long as, as long as we keep doing this protecting, then we won't see the terrible violence of beautiful trees being cut down. So yes. we're the ones upholding peace and protection yes. and respecting the inherent mana of the Rako. And um Save the communities together. Right. I just want to acknowledge whomever made that amazing banner yesterday. That, that just looks fantastic. I saw that for the first time this morning. The name Manarako was chosen by this, uh, this group at Canal Road as a name for the movement to protect trees. And um, I think it's a marvellous name. And um, call on everybody here to endorse that name as, as Manarako. Do we support Manarako as the name of our movement yeah. to protect yeah. trees? Yeah. Yeah. Oi. Oi. Is someone going to make t-shirts? Yeah, that's great. I'll buy one. Zane's got one already. <laughs> um. <laughs> I just wanted to say one thing about what this um, made, has made this movement to save Canal Road so powerful and effective is that um, is that people keep showing up and um, on that first day on his way to the supermarket Matua Willie Lee yeah. saw that they were cutting down the trees in the neighborhood where he had lived for 60 years and he pulled over to the side of the road and he walked across and he stood in front of the machinery yeah. and he said it was an instinctive reaction he hadn't planned to do it, but when he saw those trees being cut down, it's just, it was a body reaction. He knew that he wasn't going to stand by and let those trees be cut down. And so, this civil disobedience, if you like, that began with Matawa Willie, is what we have continued now to this day. How many days are we up to? 86. 86. The day is 86 Woo! days. Woo! That's what he needs stood in front of that machinery. And then on the next day, I came down in the morning and sat in the Buriri tree. And then Willie and I took turns for 10 days sitting in the Buriri tree. And then they came in again on the 21st of July and they cut down the Rewarewa and one of the big Tōtara until we got back into the trees again and stopped them. And since that day on the 21st of July, no more chainsaws have operated at that site. Yeah. Woo! It wasn't sustainable with just me and Willie, it wasn't sustainable. And then uh, Marinko has been in a tree, Tarina has been in a tree, Ken has been in a tree. Who else here? Caleb! Caleb! Caleb. Caleb. Yeah. Caleb. Dino's been in a tree, Michelle. Woohoo! Everyone has been in a tree and Canal Road, put your hands up please. Yay! Yay. 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 You can join the proud list of people who have been trespassed yeah, and arrested yes. defending this Rako. And, uh, and then the godsend of our professional arborists yeah. came along in force. Yeah. Yeah. A professional climb led by Zane with Hannah, with uh, Billy McLean, with a bunch of other people, I should stop saying their names. Um, but the fact is, oh, Caleb, you've been in a tree right early on. So these are the people Many who showed up and made it possible. And it's not just the people in trees who keep them standing, it's everybody on the ground. It's the people who come and roster and join the rosters. And it's hard work. It's early mornings. It's 5.30 a.m. starts. So your support on the ground every day in that vigil is hugely appreciated. Please, if you haven't already been part of it, I know a lot of you here have, please come and be part of it. Come and join, be part of the ground protection. Well, we have people on the ground, we can keep people in trees. And while we have people in trees, they can't cut them down. Yes. So keep turning up.
And of course, all of this, us being here today, puts pressure on the politicians to step up. And everyone's made that so clear. I can't do any better than what uh, Zane articulated and Hannah and uh, Lord Ayres and Luke, Luke and Mariko, Laura, Laura. all of you and Libby Laura. have all articulated that this is an instance where our supposed political leaders need to show that they are leaders. Yes. 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 Because we are the people saying, this is what we want for our city. It's undeniable. <laughs> no, people say it's a no-brainer. Make it happen. Yes. I'm just looking at my watch. It's 10 minutes to one. We had correspondence, as I told you at the beginning. We were told by the mayor's office, we were told by a couple of councillors that they were in meetings all day today. Yeah, that they right. might get a 20 minute lunch break and that if they had time in that 20 minutes, they would come down and receive this petition. Well, is it 10 to 1? Is my watch correct? It's no, it's yeah, I'm gonna get like a digital watch. Hey, <laughs> okay, well that's okay because that means they got 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, and uh, I just really hope that uh, they, someone does come down because I tell you what, if one of the councillors and the mayor doesn't receive this petition today, be I'm afraid, Mr. Mayor, we're gonna have to come back another day. Yeah. And we're gonna keep coming back to deliver you this petition until you receive it, until you hear it, yes. Yes. until you listen to the people. Yes. Yes. What do you reckon? Yes. Reckon right. Goodbye. So, um, we, I think what we'll do is we'll hand over to some uh, final words from Zane. Should we do that? Yep. And, uh, and, uh,